All praise be to God on this glorious day, everybody. Color Farty's back for more Harvest Moon 64. So I guarantee we will be doing more than just one day today. So for starters, let's see if our crops managed to survive. They did, perfect. All right, same as yesterday, we're gonna start by going into Moon Mountain, gathering some stuff. Today, we're actually going to try to get the power nuts that we got stiffed out of yesterday. Alright, let's try this again. Oh man, this is slow. Medium sized fish. Come on, big fish. I don't have all day, come on! Small fish, fine. This is what's supposed to happen! I'm the water imp of this pond! You gave me a fish! You're a good guy! I'll give you this! Eat that and you won't get tired in the rain! It's useful, goodbye! So this gives us the anti-rain berry. This... Uh, this is supposed to make sure that we won't get sick as easily in the rain. Don't work too hard, it'll wear you out, bye! However, due to a glitch, that works like a regular old power nut. We can get the actual anti-rain berry if we throw a big fish into his pond. Alright, the fishing took longer than I expected. Oh! Hello, hey! These are the harvest sprites! Uh, it's important to befriend them eventually, but we'll get to that later. Right now, all they can speak is Pig Latin. Later, dudes! Oh man, I am really worried I'm not gonna have enough time for all this stuff today. Yeah, it's almost noon already. Oh boy. Oh, and there's Gray. Hey, Gray. And Harris! Yeah, it's very important to harvest as much stuff as you can from the mountains every day. Very important. Because at the beginning of the game, gold is very scarce. Ideally, uh, what I'm saving up for, I'd like to buy some more crops so we can grow more stuff. I'd also like to buy a chicken as fast as I can, because chickens are amazing. They're easy to care for, and they give you free money. Alright, so today's not going as well as I had hoped. I hoped I would be able to catch a small fish and a large fish very quickly. No such luck, but that's okay. We at least got a power nut, which power nuts increase your maximum stamina, so now we can work harder. Alright, time to get our usual free flowers. Actually, only two flowers today, because today is Anne's day off and I don't want to have to track her down. So it's getting later in the afternoon. I'm gonna go to the vineyard up here, because we can get a nice little cutscene to introduce the fifth girl. Gosh, what a terrible father! You should let me have my way! What? Don't be so selfish, Karen. What an undutiful daughter. Oh man, family drama. The girl who just rushed out is Miss Karen, the master's daughter. She says she wants to leave, and they always quarrel. Yep, that's Karen, the fifth girl. Also, nice little uh, secret you can do here. Maybe I've forgotten how. Hang on. Holding right... Nope. There's a way to clip out of bounds there to get a shortcut into the village. I'm not great at it, though. Okay. Oh man, we have very little time. We really, really need to get to Maria today. And Ellie. Get a year-end raffle ticket for every 10 stickers you get buying cakes. There are lots of prizes, so collect a lot. For you, my lady. Oh, thank you. That makes me happy. It's important to keep the girls' affections up. Those kids will be hanging around town uh, in the late afternoon. Please be open. Whew. That's good. 
Again, it's very, very important to give her a gift every day. <laughs> Hello. Also in the library, there are lots of books about the mountains and the oceans here. You can't actually read any books in the library, which is kind of weird. But, I don't know. There are a lot of difficult books there. And lots of books about plants. Okay, that's good, because the library closes at 5 p.m., and <laughs> if you get locked out of the library, you're not visiting Maria that day. Because she disappears once the library closes. Alright. That was a much faster day than yesterday, so I'm happy with that. Now it's time to actually water our crops, and I just realized we didn't get to buy anything from the flower shop. Darn it. How are you doing, Tobias? You look pretty good today. So that's where our horse is. Totally forgot about him yesterday. This is all today's shipment, right? I'm taking it, okay? One thing we can do after filling this up, if we hit the tree, there's something in that tree hole. We get the treasure map. So as you can see, this goes into our key item inventory. If we examine it, go straight from the doghouse and bury in the place where you see a tree on the left. Artie, five years old, summer. That's a hint at a treasure you can find on your farm. We'll be digging that up fairly soon. Not right away, though. There's something very good buried there. Yeah, so we didn't get uh, more plants today. That's a shame. But that's fine. Because, honestly, we didn't, we're didn't. we not going to be able to clear out a whole lot of room on our farm anyways. So yeah, this is our horse. Uh, your horse will grow up eventually after several days. And once he's fully grown, you can enter him in the horse race. Also, I'm going to show off Axe. If you cut a stump six times with an axe, you get cut it up into lumber. That adds uh, lumber to your lumber bin. You need lumber to build fences and buildings. Uh-oh. I've got a headache. That's not good. That usually means your fatigue is low. Oh man, this is hard work. Alright, it's getting late. I think I'll clear these rocks out of the way. And then call it a night. There we go. Once again, we're going to make a safe state here. And now we're going to sleep. And once again, make a safe state as soon as we wake up. Tomorrow is going to be sunny as always. Excellent. I think that, I want to say there's like a 90% chance uh, any given day when you sleep will be uh, sunny the next day, and then there's like a 10% chance it'll be rainy. I want to say that's how it works. No mail today, as usual. Oh, but look at that, look at all that money. Alright, hopefully we can catch a big fish. Also, the timing on the fishing is very, very tight. You need to release be immediately when you see the bobbers moving. Oh, for crying out loud, this is taking forever. The fish are supposed to bite more. You know what? Nope, I'm resetting that. And if I wasn't playing on an emulator, I would just push the reset button and start over. Not like the whole game, but just today. Because you lose a ton of time if you if the fish doesn't bite like immediately. Like a ton of time. Alright, small fish, not great. Yeah, see, I... I waited too long there and the fish got away. It's hard when you cast the rod and it immediately starts bobbing up and down. Then there's pretty much no way to catch it. Darn it! That was terrible. I'm gonna reset that too. I'm resetting so much because it is very important that I get that other power nut. 
very important. That's one of those things you really want to get at the beginning of the game, just to give your stamina a nice little bump. Whoa! Yeah, like, immediately after casting, it started bobbing. There's literally no way you can account for that. Sweet! Excellent, that was fast. Alright. Enough with the fishing, it takes a bit too long to be consistent. So... That didn't really make sense. Basically, it's totally random whether you're, what you're gonna catch, if anything, and how long it'll take. And because you're very pressed for time in these early days, it's not really worth the risk. If you get lucky and catch a bunch of big fish, you're gonna make a lot more money today than you would if you didn't. But you're also gonna lose more time, so that's something I can't really spare. Alright, again, you need to wait until it's between the hours of 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. before you throw this in, otherwise he won't show up. Hey, Kappa! Thank you! I love big fish! This is for you! Eat this! You will gain power! Bye! So again, that's what a regular power nut is supposed to look like. And the regular power nuts are supposed to just increase your max stamina so you can work for more in a given day. But again, through a glitch, that's actually the anti-rain berry, which prevents you from getting sick in the rain, or... At least it's no longer super easy to get sick in the rain. And then the rain, rain berry is actually the regular power nut. Only for that circumstance, though. Alright, so I'm, what I'm gonna do today, I'm gonna go to the florist, get by probably two more plant seeds. And, of course, collect more flowers to give to Maria and Ellie. Fortunately, I got an out-of-the-way flower first time, so getting two more shouldn't be that big of a deal. Or maybe it will be. It's also important to note that the girls have, like, special schedules. Maria's is extremely consistent. Uh, Tuesday through, um, Sunday she will always be in the library. And then Monday she can be in two different places. Most girls' schedules are not that normal and regulated, but Maria's is special in that regard. Alright, I'm gonna buy some potato seeds. Potato seeds, one pack costs 200G. I don't want to spend all of my money, so I'll just buy two. I feel like I'm gonna have a hard time keeping four watered. Today's Friday, so Ellie's working. Okay, this is the mayor's wife. Oh, hello. Will you be staying for a while? Oh, for good? On that farm? Very impressive for such a young man. Work hard and good luck. So this is the mayor's wife, and I swear, I'm 95% I'm uh, sure that she is a robot who has been programmed to tell you about the town and the festivals and all that. She has no personality at all. Hey, Ellie. Uh, yeah. This is one of the problems of Harvest Moon 64. The text is very repetitive. Alas. This is Rick's shop. Hello, we rarely get new items, but drop by sometimes. I'm Rick, nice to meet you. Yeah, this is Rick, he runs the tool shop, so you can see there's a brush for sale. That's a brush. Cows, sheep, and horses like it when you brush them. You'll need one if you want to enter the whole cow contest, that's for sure. The prize is, the price is 600G. No. Like, if you really, really want to win the horse race first year, yeah, buy it right away. But honestly, we're not going to try to win the horse race until second or third year, so there is no po there is no rush to get the brush at all. Hi, how's it going? Those are tools and parts for my inventions. Please don't mess them up. There's an order to the madness. Those are tools and parts for my inventions. Oh, also tools and parts. Whoops. So Rick changes his stock. No, like, usually once a season he gets something new. 
it's important to check on there. And it's also important to talk to Rick and eventually give him as many gifts as you can because befriending Rick, especially if you're using glitches, it has some big benefits. Hello. Thank you very much. <laughs> Hello. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to go to Anne today because I've got to plant all my seeds. So I'm going to befriend Rick and give him some flowers. And I have a reason for doing this. Oh, thank you so much. It's okay. Rick might be a dude, but he's cool with another dude giving him flowers. Like, <laughs> there's no issue there. No awkward tension. <laughs> Alright. Oh, wow, we still got a good portion of the day left. Cool. That's good, because we're going to need to dig more soil for our crops. I also realized I forgot to level up my watering can last night. Darn it. Also, different tools uh, take different amounts of stamina to use. So, for example, the hoe right here, I think it takes two points of stamina to use. The watering can takes one. The axe and hammer, I think, take three. So, yes, using some tools is definitely more tiring than others. Alright, we got two potato seeds. Make sure you drop it in the center of the plot. Because if you drop it on the sides, it won't go to all the different spots. And just like that, we're back up to 970G. So at this point, I don't think I'm going to buy anything else until I can buy a chicken. Just because chickens are really, really, really useful. Alright. Oh no, Jack's getting tired. Oh, I hate it when I accidentally water the same crop twice. Like that. Watering crops in this can actually be a little tricky, especially if you aren't used to the the game's overall controls. The diagonal movement can be a bit annoying. And if you push uh, left or right on the D-pad, you can actually change the orientation on the farm. So if you really want it to just be horizontal, so like you move up and you go straight up, and it's not all on a diagonal, then you can do that. It's just that won't change the rest of the world. Okay, that's enough watering for tonight. I... Eh, well... I really should clear more of the farm. Not sure if I mentioned it before, but if you keep stones around... These are the only stones in the entire game. And they can be used as indestructible fence for your cows. You can't jump over this fence, but... You might want to keep some stones around if you're into that. I don't really care all that much, so there's no point. Alright, time to save. And go to sleep. I think we got time for one more day today. Let's check the weather out. Sunny as always. Well, how about that? One thing I have not shown off. Uh, hang on. Gonna want my watering can out. Uh, if you push left or right C, you will whistle. Left C is for your horse, right C is for your dog. If you whistle for you, uh, one of the animals, they will come towards you and like running. Also, whistling for your dog or horse once a day will increase their affection by one. As of right now, I don't super care. But, I mean, I might as well start boosting my horse's affection a little bit. You know what? I'm going to start gathering flowers as well. I'd like to be able to go to the village early today. Oh, it's the potion shop dealer! Hey, Shunny, what's your name? Oh, that's right. Now I remember. This guy's name is literally the Potion Shop Dealer. Everybody in the game except for his grandsons calls him the Potion Shop Dealer. It's kind of hilarious. Alright, I need one more flower. some extra time today because I don't have to bother going fishing, so I'll show what's up here. Up 
here. We've got a summit and an extra grape if you want. It's really out of the way, so I find it's not really worth getting this extra grape. But totally up to you. Actually, this is not a grape. Grapes are in autumn. This is technically called a very berry fruit. I think they sell for 50G. Yeah, like very berry sell for 50G, medicinal herbs sell for 70, edible grass, which is the swirly stuff here, sells for 30G. If this were a Monday or a Thursday, I'd keep a grape and give it to Karen, because Karen... Very berry fruit, not grape. Yeah, Karen really, really likes very berry fruit. Hello! Nice weather, isn't it? Thanks, mailman. Also, the mailman literally does not own a house. He, he has no place to live. It's kind of sad. The library is closed on Mondays. I'd be happy if you visited the library between jobs. Hello, please feel free to read here. Yeah, if you talk to her across the counter, she'll always say that, and you, for some reason, won't see her heart. Kinda weird. Alright, if we're lucky, Rick will be standing outside his shop today. Ha, oh, hello! The farm's pretty run down! You've got your work cut out, but don't get discouraged! And Rick's not out today. Alright. Zellion? Yay, good. Howdy! Restoring the color farm, eh? Does this mean Ellie has a southern accent? If she's saying howdy? Then again, she could have a Canadian accent since, since she just said A. I can't do either of those well, so I will refrain. I envy you, the young fear nothing. That's not true! <laughs> Granny spreading lies. Alright. Time to go to Green Ranch, cause Anne's here, and we should be befriending her. Here you go. What? Is that for me? Thank you. Hi, how are you doing? Nothing's better than being in good spirits. Don't talk to me. Alright, fine, dude. Grouchy pants. Yeah, this might be the last episode where I show off everything, like, without cutting any footage out. Actually, who knows? Maybe I will cut some footage out. We'll have to see. Now, I came back into the forest because we didn't get those two medicinal herbs. Or Ooh! Oh, hey, it's Karen! Hi! You don't look familiar. Where are you from? Well, it doesn't matter. You'll be gone soon anyway. Is that a threat? Are you, like, threatening to kill me right now, Karen? That's very, very cryptic. Huh. Oh, she's crying about something. What's up? Don't talk to me so much. Yeah, Karen's very rude at first. As long as she's at a white heart with you, she, she's very antsy and doesn't really like you. Hello, hey. Hello, hey. Hello, hey. I'll befriend the Harvest Sprites later once I get more cash. But right now I can't afford to even give them the edible grass. And flowers are too out of the way. I'm glad the days are flying by much more quickly now. One thing I want to check. Watering can. Only one time remaining. Okay. Yeah, you can see how many uh, squirts of the watering can you can do left. Let's fill that up as always. Oh, look at all those rocks. Yeah, you'll notice our cabbage is starting to grow. They've got those little sprouts coming up. How much money do we have? Oh, we're 100G away from being able to get a chicken. And again, chicken is early... Stop watering the stump, Jack. Chicken as early as possible. Always. The problem with the cabbage now just being grown is that we can't water the middle part. So that's just going to grow more slowly. 
So I might sickle it down once it's fully grown, or I might just keep watering it to try to get an extra harvest out of it. We'll have to see how, where that goes. Cool. Cool, we got some extra time today. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to try to find the buried treasure. So it says go straight from the doghouse, and then bury where you see the tree on the left. So, straight in this line, other side, past those stones. Oh man, that's hard work. I hate how time passes while he's doing that wipe animation. Alright, so where's the tree? Tree is here. Alright, so past these. Right there. That's where the treasure will be buried. You've got to dig a lot though, and it's very late, so I'm not going to do that today. That'll be a fun thing to do tomorrow. Hi, Tobias. <laughs> and you're probably wondering, you that poor dog, you're not feeding it, you're not whistling for it, you're not picking it up at all. That's intentional, because right now... I'm not even going to try to win the dog race here one. It's almost impossible to do it anyways. So I'm not even going to worry about keeping my dog's affection up until autumn. Mainly because there's a very, 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 very useful glitch we can use that only works if your dog is at a very low affection level. So that's kind of my overall plan. And we've still got some stamina left, so it's time to use our watering can to level it up a bit. Yeah, I looked it up. You need to use your watering can 600 times before it levels up just the first time. And another 600 to level it up the second time. So, every little bit helps a great deal. And again, watering up your watering can makes your watering go by so much more quickly. And since watering your crops is probably the most time-consuming activity you do in the game, minimizing that time is crucial. Yeah, Maria really likes cabbage, which is why I'm growing cabbage. Once it's fully grown, I might not even sell that many. Like, I'll mostly be just be giving them to her. Because that gives her way more affection per cabbage than it does per flower. So, like, I think a flower will boost her affection by two or three. Cabbage, I think, boosts it by five. Okay, he's just sitting down crying. That's enough. We will save... And that's where we're going to leave the episode off for today. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. Hope you tune in next time. Hope... Ah! Uh, oh, I think next episode will be... It's the 7th, yes. Next episode we'll be having our first festival, which should be interesting. And we'll definitely get a chicken and we'll find the buried treasure. So, a lot to look forward to. Hope to see you then. Have a great day, and God bless.